Ever wondered about the complex dynamics within the British royal family? It's a fascinating subject, and Ingrid Seward's latest comments have certainly stirred the pot. In a recent Telegraph interview, Seward delved deep into the intricate relationships among the royals, particularly between Prince Harry, Meghan Markle, and Kate Middleton. Seward speculates on Harry's admiration for Kate, suggesting a psychological affection perhaps stemming from a longing for a sister figure. It's a claim that raises intriguing questions about the nature of family relationships within the royal household. In this light, the royal family is not just a symbol of tradition and power, but a complex web of relationships, each with its own unique dynamic. Seward's insights invite us to understand these dynamics not just as family matters, but as part of the broader societal fascination with the monarchy. This perspective certainly sheds new light on the royal family's dynamics, doesn't it? Now let's turn our attention to the narrative of jealousy and adaptation within the royal family. Ingrid Seward, in a recent Telegraph interview, proposed an intriguing theory. She suggested that Meghan Markle might have been jealous of Kate Middleton, a claim that has stirred up quite a discussion. Picture this. Meghan, an outsider to the royal family, steps into a world steeped in tradition and protocol, where Kate, the future queen, has already carved a niche for herself. It's a classic newcomer challenge, amplified by the grandeur of royalty. Seward speculates that Meghan anticipated a different royal life, and this is where the narrative of jealousy comes into play. But let's remember, it's not a simple case of green-eyed monster. It's more about a clash of expectations and realities, a struggle to fit into predefined roles, and a battle to balance personal aspirations with royal duties. The life of a royal newcomer isn't a bed of roses, as public perception might suggest. Behind the opulent palaces and ornate crowns lies a labyrinth of challenges. The public sees the glamour, but the private realities are far more intricate. The newcomers grapple with the weight of royal duties, the constant public scrutiny, and the struggle to maintain personal relationships amidst all this. So when Seward talks about Meghan's possible jealousy towards Kate, it's not just about envy. It's about the difficulties faced by those marrying into the royal family, and their endeavor to reconcile their new lives with their past. This narrative underscores the complexities of navigating royal duties and personal relationships for those marrying into the royal family. Within the royal family, the balance between duty, family, and personal happiness is a delicate one. Ingrid Seward's recent commentary gives us a fascinating glimpse into the intricate relationships within the royal household. Seward draws attention to the marriages of William and Kate, and the unique characteristics of Harry. She paints a picture of Kate, similar to the late Princess Diana, gracefully balancing the demands of public duty and family life. Kate's role, Seward suggests, is one of immense public scrutiny, yet she manages to maintain her composure and fulfill her duties with grace and dignity. Turning to Prince Harry, Seward's observations reveal a man wrestling with his role within the royal family and his personal identity. Harry's journey, marked by a desire for personal happiness, has been a challenging one. His struggles reflect the difficulties faced by royals in reconciling their public duties with their private desires. The pressures and expectations placed upon royals are immense they are expected to uphold centuries of tradition, maintain a certain image, and fulfill a myriad of public duties, all while managing their personal relationships and pursuits. Navigating this path requires a delicate balance, a balance that is often scrutinized and speculated upon by the public and media. Seward's insights into the royal family's internal dynamics and public personas contribute significantly to our understanding of the modern monarchy's challenges and adaptations. 
These insights, while speculative, offer a unique perspective on the complex dynamics within the royal family, revealing the human side of royalty that is often shrouded in ceremony and tradition. So, what have we gleaned from this exploration of royal dynamics? Quite a bit, as it turns out. We've delved into the complex relationships within the royal family, particularly the speculated dynamics between Prince Harry, Meghan Markle, and Kate Middleton. We've examined the intriguing claim of Harry's non-physical affection for Kate, suggesting a longing for a sister figure. We've also navigated the narrative of jealousy and adaptation to royal life, highlighting the challenges newcomers face when marrying into the monarchy. Moreover, we've reflected on the balance of duty, family, and personal happiness within the royal family, considering the immense pressures and expectations placed on royals. We've pondered Kate's role as the new Diana and Harry's struggle with his role and personal identity within the monarchy. In the end, these speculations and narratives only deepen our fascination with the British royal family a spectacle that continues to captivate us all. <laughs>